Welcome everyone. This is Amy Wenslow with the Product Business Show podcast. I'm so honored that you join us continuously for this podcast and for the live show that we do on Mondays. I am really committed to showing you the path of what it is to be an entrepreneur. And you know, it's not always easy. Um, this month has been extraordinarily busy. We had a week out at a trade show. We had another client launching. We've been preparing something that um, I'm really super excited about. And I worked myself so hard that I actually got sick in the midst of all of that. And then, you know, caught a cold for a few days and then got better and then relapsed. And so you could hear it a little bit in my voice, but what is true is that sometimes as human beings, when we're up to big things, you know, stuff gets in our way, right? And I wanted to just talk about this because it can be so easy to see someone who's doing what you want to do, who's achieved a certain success or a certain milestone that you want and not really understand the background and the, and the energy that they've put in or everything that it really has taken for them to do it. <clears throat> so like I said, the extraordinarily busy month, um, launching a pr uh, product, being at a show, um, you name it, it's, it's gone on, right? And I had to really pay attention to my body when I started to catch this cold and say, okay, is this my body in resistance to what we're actually doing? Or is this just my, I'm tired and I need to take a couple of days and rest so that we can cross the finish line so that we can finish out what we're working with. And it's a very nuanced thing. So for me, I realized that I was going to hit the law of diminishing returns, which is, you know, when you're working really hard and you're exhausted, there's diminishing return to the time you're putting in. So it's a really important lesson as an entrepreneur to pay attention to when you're in that. So that is the same for a product business as well as for any sort of consulting or coaching or any business that you're running, including you're the business of your personal life. When you are exhausted, um, sometimes your body will be using it because it's a way to have you not take a risk, right? If you get sick, then you slow down and you don't take the risk that you were going to take. But sometimes it's really just that you need to take care of yourself for a, for a beat or two. And so that's what we did. And I'm excited to say that we're so uh, conscious of this, or I am so conscious of this, that I still can push through, right? I don't take myself out of momentum to take care of myself. I slow down a little bit, but I'm always looking at how can we leverage team? Who can we bring in? How do we still move the goal forward, right? So um, you'll see an, another podcast episode really soon here where I announce our new book is coming out. And It'll, it'll be up and available for everybody. We are going to do a digital download version. Um, and I'm really excited about it. This has been a long time coming. Um, it's, it's the 18 secrets that you have to pay attention to when you're launching a product and when you're building a product business. So uh, you'll see that. You'll see a link for Turn Products Into Profits is the name of the, the book. And I really wanted to share some of this journey with you. So when I've been writing this book, I, I went through all kinds of mental things, right? So you're going to go through it too with your product if you haven't already. And that is that when you are putting something out new in the world and you don't know if it's going to be successful, right? If people are going to like it, there's all this mind chatter that can come up. And I actually had to work with myself to get through it. So things like, who am I to do this? Um, <laughs> and it's so funny because it almost doesn't matter the amount of experience you have. So here was my mind chatter. Um, who am I to do this? What if nobody likes it? What if they judge it as not good enough, not um, 
whatever, right? Like, what if they judge it? What if they don't like it? Um, What if I put all this into it and it's not a success? So I'm sharing all of that so you can hear the internal chatter because I'm sure you have some of it as well. And it's not based on evidence, right? I mean, here it is. We've worked on hundreds of products, done really successful launches, had clients who did a million dollars their first year in sales, worked on a line that did $300 million in sales in three years, Um, you know, have spoken on stage for the U.S. Patent Office on commercialization and shared the stage with celebrities all talking about how to build product businesses, right? But because I'm doing it in a new way, it brought up all this emotion for me to pay attention to, clear, etc. So I wanted to share it because, you know, we're all humans and it's really important for you to know, especially if you're new, that it's there, but it doesn't have to stop you, right? So that's there. And literally it was for about mm, 15, 20 minutes. And then I went, well, some people will like, like it. Some people will love it. And some people will go, eh, not for me, right? And that's how it is with your products all the time. Some people are going to love it. They're going to buy it. They're going to use it every day. They're going to tell their friends about it. Other people are going to go, eh. So don't let it stop you. Have the courage to keep pushing through and Rest when your body needs it without getting out of momentum. And usually that means bringing in some team. So with that, everyone, watch for the next episode. We'll we'll have that up for you soon. And there's another really exciting thing that we're doing in July. So there will be more things for you to participate in and to learn from and to grow with us in. So that's it for today. This is Amy Wenslow with the Product Business Podcast. We'll be back live on our Monday show. You can catch the link in the description of this podcast. And have a wonderful rest of your day.